Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Hi, you my name is Elena. I'm from Germany. I'm 21 years old. I'm left from to be here. We are in uh, Tokyo Midtown. Yes. So we're gonna try some Japanese foods from now. Are you excited? Yes. All right. <laughs> so excited. I, I love everything that has to do with fruits. Oh yeah. So yeah. what's your favorite Japanese food? Not too many, but. I don't know, I love sushi, I love nabe, I love... Oh. Uh, yeah. Meat? I, yeah, meat too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, let's go. So hot. Yeah. <laughs> Can you show your skin color? <laughs> wow, yeah, it's, it's red. Really so you went to Shonan yesterday? Yeah, I had a shooting in the morning close to Noshima. And then, okay, I've never been to Noshima, so uh -huh. I call a friend, like, you want to go to Noshima? Yeah. So I got burned. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I look like Kani. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good contrast, white yeah. and red. Okay, let's go. Where in Germany are you from? Uh, I'm from Berlin. Oh, Berlin. I see, the capital. Yeah, but my, ha my parents are from Hamburg. Oh, I see. Most of my Japanese friends, the first time they go to Germany, they go to Frankfurt mm -hmm. or Munich mm -hmm. or Düsseldorf maybe. Japanese people that go to Berlin, they're more into arts, like they're musicians or photographers. In which places should I go for sightseeing in Berlin if I go there? Yeah, I mean, if you like history, you can go to Checkpoint Charlie. Or... Mm. So it's a museum, but also the place outside is. Uh, Nice to see you and you can take photos with it. And also like uh, bearing wall, is yeah. it still? Uh, some parts are still there. Yeah. And then because of the commercialization, you can even buy a piece of wall. Oh really? It's totally overpriced, I don't recommend it, but, but you can have a look. How, how much? <laughs> Just brick, right? Yeah, brick, like yes. brick and like 7 euros or like the smaller one is for it. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Frost. It's nice to have a beer when it's hot outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's true. It makes it even like a tastier if it's like uh, so hot outside. I think it's not just true. Like Japanese people, when it's hot outside, they like to go like outside and have a beer and snack. Yeah. Like. How about Japanese beer? Is it okay? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm always wondering like, uh, if German people like Japanese beer. No, no, because I German think most people, like... they like Japanese <laughs> oh, beer okay. too. Oh, I know. It's just hard to sell in Germany because like beer is so cheap. Ah. They sell like Japanese beer at some places, but I think it's just more expensive. Oh, of course. So it's not like we don't like it. Ah. I went to Oktoberfest in Tokyo and there are so many brands, like beer brands, yeah. I can try. And the size also, it's usually one yeah. mass, right? <laughs> but Northern Germany is like half a liter is standard, but in the south it's one, one liter, one mass. Let's go with potato salad. Are you doing with chopsticks? Or? Yeah, chopsticks, I think. Better. Okay. Like a flavor of truffle, I can feel. Yeah. I think it's a good side dish for beer. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get drunk here. <laughs> Usually when you drink beer, you eat sausage and mm. sauerkraut or something. No. <laughs> But I think usually we eat before beer, mm -hmm. but we have like otsumami, like I don't know, peanuts or whatever, or so like cheese. So yeah, cheese, uh, um, pickles. Like we can eat that. Maybe not as much as in Japan. Uh, we can have something with it, but it's not like a necessity. I'm not sure what it is. But... So are you okay with sea urchin? Have yeah. you ever tried sea yeah, urchin? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Lots of umami. Mm. Yeah. Chawamushi. Like pudding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about it? This one is really good too. 
but this restaurant is, I think, more westernized. Seems like it's not like a typical traditional Japanese place. There's like maybe this area that maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. like sure. already said, like Lopongi the living many experts. So actually before. Um, I had to do like an internship mm. at the German Chamber of Commerce, so I had to handle lots of like delegations coming to Japan from Germany. I see. So I did this kind of work, and uh, they had many like you know business dinners and also in this area. Maybe it's a bit like fusion, I don't know, because obviously this is Japanese food. Yeah, yeah. But maybe for Western maybe audience. For Western. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thai? Yeah. Thai? Yeah, I love Thai. Oh, yeah? The other one is called Inada. It says Young Yellow Tail. Ah, I know that one. Yellow Tail. I love Thai. <laughs> it's really good. It has like really refreshing taste. Mm. But I like it. <laughs> Do you like shiso? Yeah, I like shiso. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> If I didn't like it, I wouldn't do <laughs> yes. it. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> and the last one. The wasabi. Okay, it goes well with beer. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes well with beer. What's that? Let me go to the menu. Okay. Sake. Okay. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. Are you okay with sake? Yeah. Okay. I, I can drink anything. Alright. Kokuryu, Daiginjo, Mugurasu, and Maruyama, and Oli-san Sake. Yeah, drinking sake at lunchtime. <laughs> I think, especially in the south, like if you go to Bavaria, like because it's only one liter, mm -hmm. but for lunch you have like half size, and then they have like business uh, lunch or so on. So they think they drink. <laughs> But usually you don't have more than one because <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's still a business setting <laughs> where like one is okay. Yeah. yeah. Like a wine. The way to pour. Yeah. <laughs> Very light. Maybe sweeter. Maybe sweeter. I don't think it's right. Oh, come back. Bye. Bye. This one is like richer, but mm -hmm. this one is very light. Oh. Oh, it's eggplant. Uh, yeah, great eggplant. Yeah. First time I had like cottage with eggplant. <laughs> Me too. In Germany we have like something like this with uh, white asparagus. Yeah. But you can only eat it in spring. And yeah. now in Japan it's really hard to find white asparagus and it's quite expensive. Because like the season is very short. Mm -hmm. But we get a lot of helpers, like workers from like Eastern Europe that will support you know the farmers. Uh -huh. But because of Corona they weren't, so they called it like the asparagus crisis. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. When I watched German news, it was like the asparagus crisis. <laughs> I'm happy. Just for the poor baby and some pickles. Yeah. Yes. 
like perfectly medium. Yeah, it's kind of medium, <laughs> yes. Yeah, how to call it, I don't know. It's really good. <laughs> I think I'm just saying it's really good to everything now, but mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, how it is. Yeah, yeah. It tastes good. Marabi mochi. Black sugar with like kinako. Syrup and kinako. Yeah, syrup. Yeah, kinako. Thank you so much for watching. It was such a pleasure to be here and have all this great food. I'm so grateful. And uh, comment and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.